The Indian Navy has announced that it has conducted the test of the BrahMos extended range missile from a Kolkata class destroyer and has successfully validated its long range precision strike capability. After traversing an extended range trajectory and performing complex maneuvers, the BrahMos extended range missile hit the intended target with pinpoint accuracy that lead to complete destruction of the target and the test also successfully demonstrated combat and mission readiness of frontline platforms. The extended range missile features a modified control system that has been fine-tuned to achieve enhanced capability. We had already reported that the Aeronautical Development Agency had been working on an electro-optical targeting system for the AMCA program that will feature a forward-looking infrared and infrared search and track functionality. The RDO's Instruments Research and Development Establishment has now issued a tender for the fabrication and installation of infrared sensor for airborne applications to be installed on a Hawker 800 test bed aircraft and flight trials will start soon to test its performance, which is expected to be completed by July 2022. Tender documents also reveal that it has one forward-looking infrared sensor and one rear-looking infrared sensor, and the flying test bed will carry the two sensors under the nose at an angle of minus 45 degrees. That will provide 180-degree coverage on either side so that it can provide high-resolution imagery of the terrain and can also offer precision air-to-air -air and air-to-surface tracking and targeting capability from increased standoff ranges. The DRDO has also developed a durable sapphire window that will also find its way into the production variant of the electro-optical targeting system. The DRDO has developed the first prototype of autonomous unmanned surface vessel and is looking for a private sector production partner for the program that will later be offered to the Navy for user trials. According to the request for information released by the Indian Navy, the Navy is seeking unmanned surface vessel that can be controlled autonomously, semi-autonomously or from a controllable remote. The vessel must not weigh more than 100 kilograms and will be powered by lithium-ion battery along with thrusters for increased thrust. It must have an endurance of 7 hours and should be operable at sea state 3, which is a sea state up to 1.25 meters of sea waves. Hyderabad-based private sector firm Premier Explosives Limited has received orders worth 17.70 crore rupees from the DRDO for the supply of primary explosives plant and fabrication and supply of R3 rocket motors. The Airborne and Special Forces of the Indian Army conducted an aerial insertion capability and rapid response exercise from an altitude of 20,000 feet along with logistic supply loads on precision-guided platforms along the line of actual control. The airborne troops landed at a location in the Siliguri Corridor and established surveillance positions to guide accurate fire on to simulated enemy targets. As a follow-up, 400 additional airborne troops were deployed by air in rapid succession to swiftly capture the objectives. Chinese media has reported that Chinese military budget is set to increase by 7.1% in 2022, and $230 billion has been set aside for national defense. But foreign military analysts believe that China's actual spending is significantly higher than the publicly announced budget. As several participants including companies and top executives and foreign government representatives had expressed their inability to attend the Defence Expo 2022, India has postponed the Defence Expo 2022 and also the Vayu Shakti 2022 exercise, and the Defence Ministry will soon release new dates for the events.